Good evening, Aaron's Be Very Picayune viewers. Uh, I'm coming to talk to you this evening. I, has anybody ever had one of those evenings that just went so not good that it made it feel like your whole day was not good, and then on top of that, made you start thinking about all the things, like the things going on in your life that are not good and just really weighed you down? Well, I certainly feel as though I just had one of those evenings. Um, you know, it's interesting. I, I initially wasn't, for a minute, I wasn't going to make this video because of the fact that after I left work, which is my second job, you see I'm in the uniform, hey, um, after I left work, I, um, I was kind of over it. I, I, I was over it, and, and I realized that that's kind of how I deal with stress. You know, once I leave the situation, I pack it up in a box, shove it to the back of my brain. And uh, while that might not be the best of ways to handle uh, stress, it's what I do, and, you know, prayerfully it won't come back and bite me later. Uh -huh you know, couch time, I put it up in prayer, you know, um, I certainly had to recite my, uh, Bible memory verse quite a bit in my mind today, because, uh, it, it was, with, uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven, well, I am, I, today, oof, it, it was work, but I was trying to let that light shine because I know there were a couple of times that I wanted to let that light turn into like a laser beam or something. <laughs> I know that's not funny, but um, and I was just stressed, you know, honestly, like today. Uh, it was just one of those evenings, and I don't care if, if the Monica, just one of them evenings when I want to just go home, just one of those evenings. I don't care what people say that song was about. I made it for what it's about this time. Mug face. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I was actually for a while going to talk of. I think I was going to initially call this video a failure at 25. <laughs> Meaning that I felt like a failure. Because um, there are some other things kind of going on that are. Uh, have me down, depressed, or whatever, but, um, I, I, I ended up deciding I didn't want to take that route with this video, um, I'd rather make it a more uplifting, encouraging video, you know, that, that's what I try to do, so, yes, I'm, I'm stressed, yes, there are things in life that just, oh my gosh, you know, it's just like, wow, are you serious, but at that same token, I know there are plenty of people who deal with so much more, you know, and I'm not saying that that makes me happy. It doesn't. It just puts things into perspective because a, a lot of times people say, well, at least I'm not such and such, but it, it, it's not good that such and such is dealing with that stress either, you know, so that shouldn't make you happy. It just puts things into perspective for you. Like, I am blessed for so many different reasons. It's so many different things that I have to be grateful for. Like, I, I just came back from New York, you know, and granted tonight was a long night of work. I got a decent amount of tips. I'm not going to lie. Some of those tips were pretty small, but I got a lot of them. So that was good. This one man, he was, hmm, I don't even know if I feel like talking about him in this video, but uh, he, some people were uh, not the nicest tonight, just because we were really busy, so not all of the pizzas got out exactly when they wanted the pizzas. But people, please understand that if a pizza gets to you late, it is not the delivery driver's fault. We are not just sitting around with your pizza saying, well, I'm just going to sit and do Sudoku or something. I, I, let me finish this Sudoku puzzle right quick before I deliver their pizza. No. Of course we're taking it to you as soon as we can. You know, we just, it's bit, it's busy. There are plenty of other people that have to get the pizza, so don't cuss me out, you know. But all I did was I just smiled, and I, I gave him the, oh, goodness, oh, 
Yeah. Oh, wow. No. Oh, goodness. I know you. Oh, you want half price pizza? No, we don't do half price pizza. No, we don't. See this face? Bam. Booyah. No, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, I, I'm feeling better already. I, I have a bit of a drive ahead of me because I live in a new area now. I live like people call it out in the sticks, but it's not. Not really. I mean, we have everything that we need out there as far as stores. We have Taco Bell, and we have Giant Food. We have Safeway. We have Food Lion. <laughs> the Food Warehouse. Oh, no, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, I don't want to just ramble. Like I said, in, initially this video was going to be talking about some of the negative things going on. And I'm certainly dealing with them, you know. I'll put it down to this. I'll say this much about some of the stuff, the economy. I know everybody's blaming the economy for stuff, and uh, it's it's really cliche at this point. Um, I'm working on things. I, I really feel as though God has a blessing in store for me, and I just need to hold on, you know, just like there's the little... It's it's not a rope. It's like a bar. It's it's like a comfortable bar that I'm grabbing onto. The bar is nice and comfortable. You know that's God's hand. It's just the hanging on. You know because I don't have a whole lot of upper body strength. I I really don't. But I know that God's got me. So I'm just pressing on. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise Him. Praise Him in the morning. Praise Him in the noonday. Praise Him in the evening. Hey! I know. I'm just going wild, y'all. Uh, anyway. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be blessed. I have my cheesy bread right here. Wait, I have cheesy bread. I can't show you the box, though, because, you know, I can't show the box. Anyway, I have cheesy bread. I'm excited. I'm blessed for so much more, for so much. I'm grateful. Everybody, be blessed. Peace, hola.